Give it to me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, how's it going on, Charlie? Oh, Gene. There's two in multi-casking. Gene. Yes. What? Can I introduce you into some whiskey? I'd like to have a some A little whiskey. Elijah Craig it's single been a long barrel. Day. All days are 24 hours. Huh? It's been a long day. I can't remember how the rest of that song goes. Okay, was. neither can anybody else. Yeah, little single, it. little single barrel barrel proof of Elijah Craig. Little A, because it's the first. Um, this is, I don't know, it's brand new. What's it called? What? What's it called? Uh, A124. A124. Oh, you're trying to come up with I the couldn't name think of the 124. The yeah. A124 is? A, because it's the first of the three. One, because it comes out in the January. month of January. 24 for 24. you. 24. I was going to say it. High mean, five. Teamwork. Teamwork. High five. Can you just talk slow like I talk? Yes. I cannot do that. 59.5 is the ABV, 119 proof. Gene, here's the thing. Mm. Everybody knows uh, that they stopped doing the 12 year age statement. Here's my problem. Everybody? With, everybody, here's my problem, a legit problem I have with buying this bottle of Elijah Craig single barrel barrel proof, age 124, with 10 years, nine months age statement. How in the world does this differ now from any other store pick? It does not. Store picks have to be at least nine years for Elijah Craig to do it. The 12 year age statement is what kept me as a repeat customer. You're looking at me like I'm Vinny, maybe I'm Vinny. As a repeat customer to the, the A, the B, and the C. Now the barrel program, the barrel proof store pick program is what, not, what I'm more loyal to. No, I hear you dog, I hear so you. So my question, this is gonna be a deciding factor. Is this gonna be the last ECBP barrel proof I pick up? Probably not, but maybe the last of the ABCs. I don't know, man. Until they bring back the 12 years. I don't know. 78% I... corn, 10%, 12% rye, nope, 12% multi barley, 10% rye. Did you say 78, 12, and 10? 78, 12, 10. Because that's what you should have said. Should have said. Nobody can understand you. People can understand me, Gene. Uh, speaking of understanding me, what do you think of this audio? This is the last of this type of audio. It's our last speaker we're testing out. Go back, look at a Not few. speaker, microphone. Yes, microphone. What do you think of this microphone? It's the last that we're testing out of all the plethora that we have uh, tried out. What do you think of it? I, uh, for it only having a 10% 10. rye, um, yep. I, the rye shines through for me on this, which is no, normally not true when I think of an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I don't think of any rye notes actually coming through. I think of it heavy bourbon notes, heavy caramel, heavy brown sugar, heavy butter, heavy brown, everything bourbon. Brown chocolate. Brown. Yep, brown chocolate. Um, but <laughs> right now. Right now. I get more. I get. I mean, some of the rye are coming through for me. Yeah, the rye. But I love that you added that butter note. Butter is my favorite thing to get on an ECBP. I love the buttery note. They do it better than any other uh, line of whiskey, in my opinion. Their butter's better. They got better butter. Oh, they got better butter with better butter, 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 butter. Okay, I don't even know what you're saying. I'm saying butter. Anyway, um, there's some cherry and some rye. Yeah, cherry coke. Yeah, rye, clove, spearmint. This has, uh, I like it much better now than it did on the end, corking. Corking, not really a fan. I like this nose a lot better. Well, I think the, what when we uncorked it, we're like, oh, it's gonna be a lot of Craig Barrel Proof. It where it's gonna be the same whatnots that we're used to having whatnots yep. for. And it's just a little different. Uh, yeah, I like the color. Uh, yeah, they have, they have, yeah, we've been to uh, Heaven Hill. I'm going. Have a good one. We've been to Heaven Hill. We've gone through the Heaven Hill experience. We've been to the Rick House. We've had a great time there. Um, if you have a chance to go to Heaven Hill, go to Heaven Hill. Okay. Mama got a pepper. Ha <laughs> I'm having a good one. Um, I like that pepper. I like that first pepper. Maybe pepper sting, some people call it. But I like that part of it. I like how it just takes oh. over my whole tongue and peppers just start having a little heyday on my tongue. I love it. Love the butter here. Love the corn. The sweet corn is delicious here. This is lots better than the uncorking. A lot better. This to me resonates more of a true ECBP that I've always had. 
Um, the corn, this is probably the most sweet corn I've had in, a, in an offering in a while. Sweet corn. This is, this is when somebody comes Thanksgiving and they're like, hope you don't mind, I brought sweet corn. Hope you, you know don't that, mind. You know, that creamy corn, that cream mm. corn dish, and it's mm. sweet and it's yummy. And you're like, no, I don't mind, but I'm just going to stick it over here close to where I'm sitting. You know? No, I cannot wait for the next holiday where people bring food over. <laughs> Um, yeah, cream corn. I love the, the corn here is phenomenal. Love the corn, the sweet corn, cream corn, caramel. Are we gonna put water in yet? No, yeah. Good amount of oak, light oak here. It's just on this side of being too oaky. Um, it's two drops this time. I do appreciate when, um, would you say the ABV 59.5, which I was gonna say, I do appreciate it more in the 60s, but 59.5. It's drinking it. I mean, I. Mm, it's yeah. got the flavor of a 59. It's, flavor of the fruit. Of the it's got good flavors. drinkability for a 59. More rye now. Marshmallow for me. Man, I got some clove up on my nose. I wish I had the clove. You want to smell my clove? I like yours better than mine. You have more marshmallows than I do. Yeah, yeah, you have a better nose than I do. Well, I know how to put the right amount of water in is what it is. Hey, it, it's all up to personal preference. But yeah, I got some caramelized clove is what mm. this has become on my nose. a great note. Uh-huh. Mm. Ooh, I like it better with water. Okay, balances everything beautifully now. Ooh. That water really makes everything shine. Mm. Ooh. Okay. The cherry now. Okay. I have the cherry, juicy cherry caramel finish. See, full disclosure, going into this, I didn't like it. There's no way I was going to keep drinking this. This, this kind of won me over. That's why I, I should know better than a judge on an uncorking. Um, did you happen to write our score down for the uncorking? Mm hmm. 90 for me, Miss Jean. I also did a 90. Yeah, uh, this crosses, this crosses. I think I did like an 85 on the uncorking. What was my uncorking score? We both did a pretty low one. Yeah, it was not good on the uncorking. No, 87. We both 87? did. 87? Okay. Both 87. This wild cherry, cherry butter, sweet corn note just is great. Here's what you paid for it. $85. Well, this MSRP's, I believe it's 60. People will yeah, it's typically- it's supposed to be 60 for these. I people thought. will typically, liquor stores will normally charge 100. I got a little bit under that. Uh, for its MSRP of around 60, um, actually can't say MSRP, it's around 60. Um, it's, it's, I like it. I, I think I it's think a little bit it. high and I'll tell you why. For 85, yes. 85 is a little high for this be yeah. just because I know if you kept hunting around, you probably would have been able to find it for a little bit cheaper well, someplace. Well, that and there's really no difference now between this and a single barrel program that right. any liquor store can do right. for a cheaper price. Yep. So the liquor stores will normally jack up the A, the B, and the C, but leave their own barrel pick at the 49 even I've seen them go. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah until, a little high. until they do the 12 year old age statement. I mean, I may finish out this year at the B and the C just to have the, the collection, but I probably won't do it again until they bring out the 12s. Mm. This, you know, I can, it's literally no different than the, the, the barrel program. So. We're not hurting for whiskey. We're not hurting for whiskey. Mm. Uh, appreciate you doing all this things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. It's awesome you came over to the bar and had a dram with us. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Anything to add, Jean? We should just have a show where we're just drinking and, and not really so much talking about whiskey, but just drinking with the people. Well, that, that that's funny you should mention that. That's forthcoming. We'll, we'll start like a Patreon thing here sometime this year, and that'll be one thing we do for that. Maybe we can just do a live. You know how people do live sometimes? We can do a live whenever you want to do, do a live. live. And just get drinky. <laughs> just gonna get drinky. Hashtag get drinky 2024. Get drinky with it. Ah, <laughs> that's a t shirt. Get drinky with it. Charlie. I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.